If you manage recurring projects in Microsoft Planner like onboarding campaigns or monthly reports, rebuilding your task board every time is a complete waste of time. Same processes, same steps, but every time you're rebuilding your planner board from scratch. It's slow, repetitive, and honestly, completely unnecessary. I know this from first-hand experience. I've been in consulting for more than eight years, running similar project format across different clients or regions. And today, I help thousands of professionals save time and get more done with Microsoft 365. On top, I also created a Microsoft 365 Productivity Masterclass. It's packed with practical workflows and best practices for tools like Planner, Outlook, OneNote, To-Do, and Teams, designed to help you save time, reduce mental clutter, and actually finish your day with a sense of progress. If you're ready to make these tools really work for you, you'll love it. It's linked below. But now let's get into one of those hidden tricks I wish someone had shown me earlier. Start by opening Planner from the Teams sidebar. If you use it often, hopefully you already have it pinned. If not, just click the three dots on the sidebar, the More Apps menu, and select Planner. Once it opens, right-click it in the sidebar and choose Pin, so it's always one click away in the future. Now, in the Planner interface, go to My Plans in the left-hand menu. This shows you all the plans you have access to. Click into the plan you want to reuse. Maybe it's your quarterly marketing launch checklist, a project handover board, or a new higher onboarding plan you've used before. Once you're in the plan, look at the top left corner where the plan's name appears. Next to the name, you'll see a small downward facing arrow. Click that arrow and then select Copy Plan from the drop down menu. This opens the duplication window. Here, you'll be prompted to name your new plan, such as Q4 launch template, and choose which Microsoft 365 group it should belong to. By choosing a Microsoft 365 group, you determine who will have access to the plan. Then you can decide what parts of the original plan to include in the copy. Keep just the structure, buckets and task names, or also include details like attachments, priority levels, start and due dates, descriptions, checklists, or labels. For example, if you're prepping for your next recurring campaign, you might keep the priority, labels, and checklists, but leave out the due dates and attachments so the team starts fresh in this respect. Once you hit copy, your new planner board is ready to go, saving you from hours of manual setup. It might take a few seconds to appear in your plan list, but don't worry, it'll be there. And here's a bonus tip for some additionally saved minutes and clicks. If you don't need the full plan structure and just want to reuse a specific task, that's easy too. Open the task you want to duplicate. Click the three dots in the upper right corner of the task window and select Copy Task. You'll then be able to rename the task, choose which plan and bucket it should be copied to, and select what to carry over, again, like checklists, notes, or attachments. This gives you full flexibility, whether you're reusing an entire project or just one recurring to-do. These tips are just a small part of what's possible with Microsoft Planner. They may seem simple and small, but I've seen even experienced teams miss out on the basics and it adds up. So if you want to avoid these common mistakes and set up your plans the right way, watch this video next where I'll walk you through the biggest planner pitfalls and show you how to work smarter.